guys, it's Amy with A2Z Stamping, and today I'm doing a scrapbook layout for you You're just using an, uh, let's see, an 8x10 photo. You know, we all have these professional photos all around, and sometimes um, the best way to uh, find something to do with them is to stick them in a scrapbook. So this is what I'm going to do. So I have this picture here. This is my son, Jackson. This was actually on his fourth birthday, and there was a lot of colors going on here, so I just decided to pull out um, the yellow, the blue, and the red. And just ignore the fact that he was wearing all black. You know, you just got to pick something. So I'm starting with the uh, a piece of 12 by 12 Daffodil Delight paper. This comes in the Bright's Best. And um, right now, let's see, to, the, right now through May 31st, 2018, um, you get this paper in the Bright's Best. But starting June 1st, um, you can get all of the Bright's in 12 by 12. So I'm excited about that. But right now we only have three colors and uh, Daffodil Delight is one of them. All right, so I have this in 12 by 12. Next thing is I grab some designer series paper from the from the True Gentleman Suite. I grab this paper right here, and uh, this was a 12 by 12 sheet, but uh, let's see, I had four inches cut off of it. Let me just make sure. Let's see. It's a little over eight, it's about eight and a quarter, but that doesn't really matter. This was just a scrap piece I had, and I thought the colors were perfect. So I'm gonna grab this and stick some adhesive here on the back. Okay, so remember, um, use up that your designer series paper on your scrapbooks. Don't hoard it. You don't need to keep it forever. The whole point was to use it. So go ahead and use big giant sheets like this. I think it looks really good. All right, so there we go. Next, I have a piece of eight and a half by 11 Knight of Navy cardstock. So this is just the regular eight and a half by 11 sheets. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mount my photo onto this. So it's not perfect, the dimensions equal around all sides, because like I said, this was an 8 by 10 But this will work good enough. I'm just going to kind of get it kind of even. So the top and bottom are even in the right and left side. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to stick some adhesive on the back here. The whole point of me doing these scrapbook uh, videos and layouts for you is to show that you don't over need you don't need to overthink your scrapbook layouts you just can be quick and get them down and done and they look cute and adorable okay so that's gonna go actually I'm gonna move it over a tiny bit this one's gonna go right here keep changing my mind all right there we go okay Next thing I did was I went on the computer like I do and I use those hex codes. Have you guys looked them up yet? Those Stampin' Up! hex codes so I get the exact color I want. And I printed Jackson, I printed, is that right? Yeah, printed Jackson and then December 10th, 2005, age four. And I mounted them onto, so I printed them on Whisper White cardstock and then I mounted them onto Real Red cardstock. So I'm going to, let's see, get some adhesive on here. I would love to have stamped this, but there isn't a stamp that has the letters this size. I was going to use the large letters stamp, but they were just too big. I couldn't fit Jackson on here. His name is just a little bit too long. I can do it with Caden, my other son. All right, so there's that. So when I can't stamp them, then I like to print them. And once you get the hang of um, the printing and entering the hex codes and all that, it actually is quite fast. Let's see, and I'm gonna put this one right here. And that is my layout. Isn't it so simple, but cute, right? And I love how this turned out, and I don't need to add a bunch of embellishments and all that. If you love embellishments, go ahead and add them. I just don't like to add the bulk to my scrapbooks. I have way too many pages in them. I used to add all kinds of embellishments, but then they don't lay flat and I can't fit as many pages in. So I'm trying to be a little more simple, but I think it's cute right? So see, use up your designer series paper and um, use your printer when you don't have a stamp that will work. And see, one picture on a 12 by 12 layout is perfect. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're not scrapbooking yet, I hope you'll try it out. Thanks guys. Bye.